Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again doing another album review for you today. And today I'm going to be talking about some atmospheric black metal and a really awesome album that came out earlier this month, Transcending Rites, with their album Worship of the Triumvirs. So this album actually came out a couple weeks ago on July 3rd, 2022. I was going to do a review of it right away, but I wanted to spend some more time with it because it's the kind of album that really you need to let yourself get fully immersed in to appreciate everything going on. So I didn't want to rush a review. This is an album that, yeah, like I said, came out a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to spend a lot of time with it before I put this video out so that I could really express my thoughts on it in a logical way. So this album is the second album by this band, and it's really a collaboration between two artists that um, maybe are not super well known, but uh, Deha from Belgium, who's in like a thousand bands. Uh, obviously, I'm over exaggerating, but he's in so many bands. And then also Bruyard from France, and she is in the same name band, Bruyard, uh, one lady band, Atmospheric Black Metal. And both of these artists just really top notch stuff and collaborating together. It really works well. They really know what they set out to do and they accomplish it really well here. This is really like raw atmospheric black metal, kind of bringing in a lo-fi approach to the whole atmospheric black metal genre. And uh, yeah, between the two of them, they do all the instruments. Uh, Bruyard does the lead vocals, I believe. So she does like the raspy black metal vocals. And then Deha does some backing vocals as well. Maybe some of the clean chanting, probably throw some rasps in there as well. But this is, there's only three tracks here and it is 44 minutes long. So definitely the songs are on the lengthier side here. But this album I find really builds upon the foundation that they set out with their debut. If you have not heard the debut that just came out last year, go check that out as well. But I really feel like this expands on that sound and I think this album improves on it a little bit. But this is really dreamlike atmospheric black metal. It's just going to develop you, not develop you, envelop you in a trance-like state. Uh, maybe some similar bands if you're into stuff like early wolves in the throne room. And maybe some louder, larger soundscapes in bands like Merkog Needham or Blutos Nord. Anything in that kind of vein you'll probably get some enjoyment out of this. It just creates this really gigantic wall of sound that's so easy to get lost in. So yeah, there's only three tracks, but I'll do a track by track analysis and then give my overall thoughts on this as a whole and give it a score out of 10 at the end. So the album kicks off with the longest song on the album that's like 22 and a half minutes long. So that's quite a journey to start the album. That song is called Initiation. So yeah, it's hard to put a song this long into words. You really have to experience it for yourself, but it really gives you this really like outer worldly feeling throughout the whole thing. It's such a great build up throughout and there's so many great riffs that are in this song and it really excels at creating the atmosphere and setting the mood for the album as a whole. 22 and a half minutes is a very long song but it doesn't feel that long when you're listening to it. You just get lost in it. You don't even notice that the song is done when it finishes. It's just yeah, it's just a black metal journey from start to finish. I absolutely love this style of like all encompassing atmospheric black metal. So if you're into that kind of stuff, I'm sure you will enjoy this as well. And even with that being said, a lot of atmospheric black metal, the riffs aren't necessarily always memorable. It's more the atmosphere that it's built around, but this is still very riff driven music. Like the riffs in these songs, and especially in this song, they're very memorable. Like maybe they're not the most technical riffs ever. They're more on the straightforward black metal raw black metal style of riff writing but they're put together so well and it's still going to stick in your head even amongst all the great atmosphere that's been being created at the same time so yeah like i said it's hard to describe a 22 and a half minute song in just a couple minutes here but yeah go listen to it for yourself and see if you understand what i'm meaning here and what i'm trying to get across the second song after that is another lengthy one. All the songs on here are lengthy. This one's about nine and a half minutes long. It's titled Elevation. This one has almost like a tranquil start, very slow to just to kick it off for the first couple minutes. But then it really kicks in after a couple minutes with this really aggressive black metal. Once again, the riffs really drive this song, but the way that they're layered throughout this song, it really creates this truly like hypnotic and chaotic atmosphere, really reminiscent of a band like Blue Toss Nord, where there's so much chaos going on and the vocals are almost like pushed to the back, but you just get lost in it. Like it is truly a trance-like state that you'll be in. You just close your eyes and drift off, 
but it's just really awesome, well done atmospheric black metal here. The third song on the album titled Infinity. This one is 12 minutes long to close the album off. And this one, kind of similar to the previous song, starts with this very peaceful moment before the aggressiveness kicks in. But then, yeah, after that peaceful moment, gives you a second to breathe. Then it just explodes with this fury of anger and thrashing black metal, riffing and blasting drums throughout. But uh, while I say throughout, there are a lot of tempo changes as well. It does slow down in some moments, and there's even some nice like backing chanting going on in some of these slower sections but then it also goes back again to the more aggressive tremolo riffing with the raspy black metal vocals so overall this song it does really have a very aggressive approach but even throughout that it still creates this backdrop of like anguish and beauty and the last couple minutes of this song it's like such a sorrowful way to end this song and the album but it's perfect. It, that's just exactly how this album should end. So my thoughts on this as a whole, this is a very visceral and powerful and emotional release. Like it's somber, but tortured, very angry, but beautiful at the same time. The drums and riffing are blasting and frenzied throughout, but it is balanced very well with the atmosphere. It's a very interesting voyage through dark despair. Um, the, like the riff writing here, while I've said it's not super technical, it's still, this, these songs are constructed very well. So, um, if I was going to go with some negatives, like the production is on the lo-fi side of things for sure, but I wouldn't necessarily say that's a negative. That's clearly the sound that they were going for here. Um, my I guess my only knock on this would be in this grand field of so many atmospheric black metal bands. Like this isn't necessarily super unique. But that being said, this is still pretty engaging and captivating throughout the whole album. So maybe while it's not the most standout thing out there in this gigantic field of atmospheric black metal, I still feel like this is a very well executed and well done album. It's probably not going to be for everyone, like with the raw approach and the atmosphere here probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea but i love it i love this kind of stuff if you're into this style of raw atmospheric black metal at all like any of the bands i mentioned or just anything that i have said here if that sounds like it would interest you then i do strongly recommend you check this album out it's a very engaging listen and it's very well done and i enjoy it a lot so to score this out of 10 if you've watched this channel before anything over 7.5 is like pretty solid if it hits 8 out of 10 i would strongly recommend it at least for that genre of music and i'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. i don't think it's quite hitting the levels of like 8.5 or 9 out of 10 as something that's outstanding that's gonna be a masterpiece in 10 years time oh uh, maybe not but that being said this is very well executed very awesome and enjoyable so i can easily confidently score this 8 out of 10 probably going to be in the mix for my favorite album of the month and we'll see if it where it ends up come year end time if it will make my list there but anyways these are just my opinions as usual i wanted to give a shout out to this album because it's probably not one that a ton of people are talking about or maybe even are aware of and i always like to do reviews of these kind of albums to hopefully get some more people listening to it so give me your thoughts on this down below once you've listened to it or if you have heard it already Definitely love to get some conversations going. Let me know what you think of it. So anyways, until next time, go give me a subscribe. Have a heart metal reviews. Out.